Hello, everyone. I am um, very happy to be here this morning. I was getting ready this morning, and I actually felt very guided to uh, give you guys a goddess angel reading for the holidays around Christmas time. Um, I'm just knowing that this sometimes can be such a difficult time of year, although it can be so fun. Um, there's a lot of stress that comes around the holiday season of um, giving out of obligation and, and being with people maybe we don't really want to be with over Christmas and just trying to keep our smile on or um, whatever we're going through um, in life. And um, I always try to choose um, happiness wherever I go and I put out that positive vibration um, and that's what comes when we when we follow that and put that out there that's what comes back to you so I wanted to just pull um, three goddess cards for you today I have invoked um, and asked all of your angels and guides for your highest good to be here now so for all of you that are watching this message is for you um, I love to work with the goddess energy, the divine feminine. It really is about awakening the feminine aspect of God within us, um, about receiving um, and bringing more balance into our life. We are in such a, a giving society right now, and, and we're not honoring our own time and honoring our own needs and bringing that balance within ourselves, um, which brings more ease into our life, which then... Um, doesn't create disease in our body and we can help heal ourselves in so many aspects of our life. So we'll just see what the goddesses want you to know over the Christmas season or and um, and and go from there. So we'll just pull three cards here. So this is funny because I actually thought of this goddess this morning um, and I'm not surprised that she didn't show up today but this is Sekhmet um, and she's an Egyptian goddess and she's all about strength. Um, and she's saying to be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength ensures a happier outcome. She helps you with strength, obviously. To um, What she's saying is you need to be strong. Even if you are having heartache right now in your life, um, not feeling loved or needing to be loved, she is telling you to be strong and strengthen your power. Stand in your power and and really don't be afraid of that. Do not let people take your power away is what she's saying. She's saying to you, when you stand in your power and you believe in yourself, you become stronger and then you become that beautiful light for others. Let go of all the worry and anxiety and know that your strength will bring a happy outcome for you. So be strong over this Christmas holidays or whatever you're going through. Ask her for strength as well um, in your life when you need it. We have days when sometimes we know we have to face something. We know there's things coming up in our life and she is a beautiful loving goddess that will help bring you that strength um, that you are needing. Awesome. Thank you. And then I got Damara, and it's the Guiding Children, and it says, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills um, to help children now. And I do a lot of teaching myself on um, healing the inner child and letting people know that the child is our teacher. Um, and the message I believe Damara is giving you today is she's telling you to get out of your head. So many times we, we think with our mind and our ego and we're not really listening in our heart. Um, ask the inner child inside of you, what do they love to do? What do you want to do today? Your child is your teacher, your inner child. The little girl inside of me is my teacher and she loves to dance and she loves to sing and she loves to do cartwheels outside. And when I do that, the little girl inside of me is so happy. And instantly, my vibration is more positive and filled with so much more love and joy. And that's really when I hear my angels and guides. Um, there may be some sacral wounds that you're needing to heal, um, you know, in, from your childhood. Um, and Damara can help you with that too. But healing that inner child, um, embrace that child. She, she or he, that is your teacher, and you can um, bring that happiness back into your life that maybe was once taken from you when you were young, um, but it's not too late. We are never 
it's not fun to be adults. It never is, right? We should still be children and act and play like children and run free like nobody cares because that changes the vibration of yourself, which then changes the vibration of everybody else. Um, so ask her to help you with that. Um, and if you love teaching and guiding children, use your inner child to help you know how to teach the children with you because they'll love it. So, And then I have... Um, the last goddess I pulled is Kuan Yin, and she's an Eastern goddess, um, all about compassion. Um, and I love this goddess. She has helped me a lot in my own life. But it says, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Compassion. Compassion is the most important thing. And I teach this in a lot of my classes. And you must have compassion for yourself. Um, so, so important that you take care of yourself first so that you can help others. Um, and lots of times we are so worried that people will judge us for our decisions, but then and truly we are judging ourselves. So, um, you know, or if you have to be around family this Christmas season um, or anything, or uh, I actually feel she's saying that, that mo there's so many of you that are putting so much on your shoulders, you're you are giving still too much. You are worried or what people are going to think if you say no. You, I'm feeling that. Um, you're, you're not carrying life very joyously. And in order to do that, we need to start to have compassion for ourselves and stop doing things out of obligation. Stop giving if you're not really truly wanting to give. When it's in your heart and you're so excited to give, that's good. That's a healthy thing. We need to have the healthy balance between the giving and the receiving. Um, but I, you know, there's, there's just so much worry that, that we're afraid that if we say no, that people are going to judge us and not think that we're nice people. Um, but guess what? You are nice and you can say no and people will respect you more for that. So ask Kuan Yin to help you with compassion, to help you let go of all that worry and anxiety and help heal your heart from judging yourself and judging others and bring more self-fulfillment into your life and let go of, of anything that's ever stopped you from living in your heart space and following your dreams. Um, she helps me all the time and I do go there and I'll start to judge myself or, or, or judge others. I am. I will do that because we are normal. We are human and we are in our ego sometimes and um, I just have to step back and I ask her that I see see everything through her eyes, through compassion, through love. And sometimes that is being strong and saying, no, you need to be this yourself. I, I can't help you anymore, um, whatever it may be. Um, and ask Sonia to help you with that. Um, and yes, over this Christmas season, whatever it may be. Um, I do wish you guys such a beautiful holiday season. I send you right now, if you are open to receive, I am sending you love and light and ask your angels and guides to be with you. Um, help them, ask them, sorry I'm getting this, ask them to help you make that next step forward. Do not be afraid. They are always there for you. Um, be open to hearing them and listening to them. And if you can't hear them, ask that you need to hear them with more clarity or in a very loud way. And sometimes it may come in a way you do not expect, but know that that is them talking to you um, they are with you all the time. I live with them every day, and I hear them like you wouldn't believe. And I never used to be able to, and I had to really trust in that. And it just blows my mind how they guide me. And um, I love that. So I wish you guys such a beautiful Christmas season. Um, and many Reiki blessings. Bye.